A floating city is being built right now, and it's not a scene from a sci-fi movie. It's real, it's massive, and experts believe it might be humanity's last hope for survival. Here's the shocking truth. Over 800 million people around the world are at risk from rising sea levels. Entire coastlines are disappearing, island nations are drowning, and major cities could be underwater in our lifetime. But instead of giving up, a group of bold architects, engineers, and dreamers is building something we've never seen before. Picture this, no roads, no traffic, no pollution, just sleek buildings rising from the ocean, powered completely by solar and wind energy. Everything floats, even the farms, even the schools. It's a city where water is life and innovation is the law of the land. But here's the twist. This isn't just a backup plan for climate disasters. This could be the future of how we live, everywhere. In this video, we're taking you inside the world's first floating city, a billion dollar idea designed to save lives, rewrite how we think about cities, and reveal mind-blowing secrets hidden beneath the waves. Stay with us. This is one you'll never forget. The world's coastlines are quietly slipping away. Cities like New York, Jakarta, and Dhaka are already feeling the pressure, flooding more often, sinking slowly, and bracing for disaster. Scientists say that by 2050, parts of these cities and many others could be completely underwater. We're not talking about a distant problem. We're talking about the lives of hundreds of millions of people hanging in the balance. Traditional cities weren't built for this. Concrete cracks, Drainage fails, defenses fall short. That's why something new had to be created, something bold, flexible, and ready for the chaos ahead. That's where the floating city comes in. This idea isn't just big, it's global. Leading architects, scientists, and governments have come together to design a city that floats on massive, modular platforms. It runs on clean energy, recycles its own water, and grows its own food. It's designed to rise with the sea and stand strong against powerful storms. But for many island nations, this isn't some futuristic experiment. It's survival. These cities could mean keeping families together, preserving cultures, and protecting futures that would otherwise be lost to the ocean. So how does a floating city actually work? Picture this, giant hexagon-shaped platforms that snap together like puzzle pieces on the ocean. Each one is a self-contained unit, strong enough to support buildings, light enough to float, and flexible enough to move with the waves. Every part of the city runs on clean energy. Solar panels soak up the sun, wind turbines spin above, and underwater systems even harness the power of the tides. Water is never wasted. Advanced systems turn seawater into drinking water, recycle every drop of wastewater, and grow food using vertical farms right on the platforms. There are no cars here. Residents walk, bike, or glide across the water in silent electric boats. Schools, homes, markets, and green parks all share the same space, making life not just sustainable, but deeply connected. But not everyone's on board. Some say it's too expensive. Others call it a fantasy for the wealthy. The twist? The United Nations and several climate vulnerable countries are already funding real pilot projects. For them, this isn't luxury, it's urgent, and it's happening right now. Building a city on water sounds amazing, but it comes with huge challenges. The ocean is wild, waves can be rough, storms violent, and salt water can wear down even the strongest materials. Engineers have to make sure these floating platforms stay stable and safe, no matter what nature throws at them. Another big question is money. Can these floating cities be affordable and grow big enough to help millions? 
or will they only be homes for the rich? Plus, there's the tricky issue of maritime laws and borders. Who owns the water and who controls the city? If these hurdles can be overcome, floating cities could change everything. Imagine entire nations that move with the weather or mobile communities offering safe refuge to people fleeing floods and climate disasters. Here's some cool facts. The platforms are built to resist hurricanes and can't sink. Underwater gardens grow seaweed and oysters that help clean the water and provide food. The buildings use a special lightweight concrete that floats and lasts more than 200 years. Could this be the future of where and how we live? This floating city isn't some far off dream or science fiction. It's a carefully crafted survival plan built with urgency and precision. It shows us a new way to face one of humanity's greatest threats, rising oceans. Instead of running away or trying to build higher walls, we're learning to live with the water, on top of it even. For millions of people whose homes and cultures are at risk, this floating city could be the difference between losing everything and holding on to dignity. It's a second chance, a place to rebuild, to thrive, and to protect future generations. This isn't just about buildings that float. It's about keeping our civilization afloat when everything around us is changing fast. So now ask yourself, if the earth is transforming faster than we can slow it down, is this the future we all need to start preparing for? Because this floating city might be just the beginning. In a world that feels like it's slowly drowning under climate change and rising seas, humanity might finally be learning how to float, literally. This floating city is more than just a clever idea. It's a bold step toward adapting, surviving, and even thriving in a future filled with uncertainty. You've just taken a deep dive into a real project that could change everything about how we live, from the way we build our homes to how we protect our communities. It's a glimpse into a future where innovation meets survival head on. If you believe in bold solutions and wanna stay ahead of the curve with future shaping ideas you won't hear on the regular news, Smash that like button and subscribe now. Now we want to hear from you. Would you live on a floating city if given the chance? Or is this just a dream too far? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We're watching.